Don't feed Ash. Ash is a ranged, high physical damage champion. Ash's passive is Focus. This increases her chance to critically strike by a percentage every 3 seconds. At level 1, this provides 3% critical strike chance every 3 seconds. By endgame, it provides 18% critical strike chance every 3 seconds. This buff resets after each auto attack. This bonus stacks. For this reason, Ash will begin many encounters with at least one guaranteed critical strike, and will critically strike more frequently than most other champions. Focus will help Ash in early and mid-game minion farming as well. Ash's Frost Shot causes her normal attacks to slow their target by up to 35%. This can be very effective both at chasing down players who are running away, as well as keeping close range attackers at a distance while she is moving away. This costs mana for each normal attack, and if Ash keeps it active when she does not need the slow, she will rapidly deplete her mana reserve. Ash may prefer only to use Frost Shot in specific situations where the benefit is nearly certain to help acquire a kill or keep her or a teammate alive. Ash's volley fires 7 arrows and a cone, dealing a base amount of physical damage plus bonus damage equal to her attack damage. Additionally, any targets hit by volley also have Ash's current rank of Frost Shot applied to them, slowing them. Volley begins with a very long cooldown of 20 seconds, but reduces down to 4 seconds by the final rank. At max rank, Volley can be used very frequently for strong area damage. It is also very effective at farming minions. Ash's Hawk Shot passively increases the gold she earns from last hitting enemy units by up to 5. Additionally, she can activate it to fire a shot that grants vision over a large area for 5 seconds. The vision granted from Hawkshot does not detect stealth units, but it does give sight to bushes in the affected area. Hawkshot initially has a short range that allows her to see in potential gank spots near her lane, but not too much further. Higher ranks have a massively increased range and can be used for strong scouting in preparation for team fights or escapes. During skirmishes, Ash may fire Hawkshot before an enemy enters a bush to ensure her and her teammates do not briefly lose target on the opponent. Hawkshot has a very long cooldown, and this cooldown does not decrease with higher ranks. Ash's ultimate is Enchanted Crystal Arrow, a massive skill shot arrow that is fired in a line and will travel across the map until it hits a target. This arrow ignores all unit collision and will only hit champions. The champion that is hit by the Enchanted Crystal Arrow is stunned, takes magic damage, and is slowed by 50% for 3 seconds. The duration of the stun is increased by the distance the arrow has traveled before landing, maxing out at 3.5 seconds. Additionally, all champions near the target take half the damage and are also slowed by 50% for 3 seconds. While Ash is a respectable carry in her own right, Enchanted Crystal Arrow is what sets her apart as a very strong addition to most teams. If it lands in an ideal spot, it is one of the best initiations in the game. This is true both in the early game, where she can fire either to her lane or across the map to any other lane, and in mid-game and especially late game, where a well-placed arrow can decisively change the beginning and outcome of a fight. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is also a good escape mechanism if she is being chased. While the stun duration isn't as long when fired to a nearby target, it can stop most aggressors, especially those who attempt to tower dive. Followed up with Frost Shot to keep opponents in range, Ash can kill many opponents who attempt to flee. Enchanted Crystal Arrow has a variety of uses for sniping kills or buffs. Since the AoE damage hits all enemy targets, it can kill minions such as the Blue Golem, Red Lizard, Dragon, or Baron. Though Riot has marked her as a recommended champion, Ash is extremely dependent on her team in competitive play due to her limited escape options and her need for farm. There are very few champions Ash can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with in a 1v1 situation before she has a significant item investment. Countering Ash primarily involves getting past her team. As a ranged carry, she does best by positioning herself out of reach of opponents and making herself hard to reach. Assassins with strong gap closers are best suited to reaching her and bursting her down during a team fight, though nearly anyone else who can reach her will be effective against her. Don't underestimate Ash's AoE damage in teamfights. Volley is essentially a spammable AoE that can quickly turn the tide of a fight, while also preventing easy escapes from those affected by the slowing debuff. Ash is an incredible farmer, especially at late game. 
If you can knock her farm down in the early game, especially to a point where she cannot acquire Infinity Edge quickly, it will benefit your team. Keep an eye on her mana. Ash players who are less familiar with her will quickly run out of mana by accidentally leaving Frost Shot active too long. Even so, Ash does have a limited mana pool and may not be able to use many abilities after extended team skirmishes. If you see Ash backing away from minions in a lane any time after she hits 6, assume she is checking the map and potentially firing an enchanted crystal arrow towards an opponent. This can sometimes be an ideal time to attack as she may be distracted. Watch out for an Ash with a Teleport Summoner ability. If Enchanted Crystal Arrow lands from across the map and she has a nearby allied unit, she can teleport directly to the target while they are stunned and follow it up with other attacks. Thanks for watching this Don't Feed. If you want to be alerted to every video I release, subscribe to my channel.